Hello people, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be teaching you how did I make dragon spider. So many of you are wondering like how did I make that interface so that's very easy. That's using rain meter, the link's down below in the description. Just go and download it and install it. So here are also some APIs which I have used for making those. So first first of all let me just tell you about Twilio API. So Twilio API is a custom API which allows you to make calls uh, calls and send custom text messages from your API. So after you've signed in and you need to get a new trial number right here. And after you get this then you'll get an account as ID and authorization token from you and the next API for getting some basic questions are Wolfram Alpha API. So Wolfram Alpha API is also like this. So after you've signed signed into your account, then you'll get you'll come to probably you'll go to this no not this. Well, you come to WolframAlpha.com and after that, what you need to do is my apps API, and after you go to your apps API, then you need to click on get an AP, get an app ID and uh, after that you'll get a custom app ID from here by writing application names and get app ID and after you got your app ID then you'll be needing Gmail API so this link is below in the description first of all so so guys please listen to me this is a very important step as if you don't do this then your complete program will not work so just look at me first of all just go and enable the gmail api after you enable the gmail api uh, let's wait till this window pops up no, no desktop app yes desktop app now let's go and just create this thing right here and after you've created this to the time it's created from here now you need to just click on download client configuration and after it gets downloaded then you need to save it as gmail.json okay you have to save it as gmail.json let me just show you this thing again after you save this you just need to do function f2 uh, and you can just save it as gmail gmail okay so yes after it gets downloaded it, you should just name it as gmail.json and after you've done this, send it to your Python program folder. Then the next thing is just copy this thing from here and go to your Vis Visual Studio Code. And just do this thing. And I've already installed this, so I don't need to install this probably. So let me just explain another thing. Now, after this, for this browser quick start you also need to enable your calendar api so for the calendar api what do you need to do is first of all just go and enable the google calendar api from here and after it gets enabled so you need to do the same but uh, instead of the credentials you should need you need to name it as calendar.json so demo client configuration show and folder now you're going to just go and save it as calendar calendar and after that after you've saved us saved us calendar now what we're going to do right here is move the calendar.json file to your python program folder so after that now after this is done now let's go for weather in, in order to get weather you have to go to open with the map.org and the link is also given below in the description below so to get the link then after creating an account you can click on API and you can just go to API get started right here and after that yeah, you need to go to API right here and in the API you'll be clicking on clicking just go and click on current with the data API doc 
I'm so uh, you can also go through this dock easily, okay? So after that, just go back, subscribe, free API key, get, get API key right here. And after that, you've already signed in, now just go to API keys. And you get this API key right here, so you can create as much API keys as you want, okay? So you're gonna copy this and save it somewhere that you want it, okay? So just copy it from here and now let's pro proceed to our program. So for using the Twilio API, the thing that you need to do is pip install Twilio. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my apologies. <laughs> pip install Twilio. So after you gonna install Twilio then because I've already installed so I just don't need this thing right now. So now down pip pip install Pyom P U I O W M. So this is Python open weather maps. So this allows you to import the import and call the weather maps API. So after installing this Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, my apologies. P O P Y O W M. And after that, what we're gonna do right here is um, pip install Wolfram Alpha. I'm sorry, my apologies. Install Wolfram Alpha. So after this is done, now the code is below in the description below, and all the required applications are just below. So now uh, let me explain this thing so first of all what we're going to do is import the pytdtsx3.init and cp5 is a voice which is defaultly provided by the microsoft and after that voices is equals to engine the proper get property voices now there are two voices one of lady and one of a gentleman so for getting that for so for getting a voice of a gentleman, you can just click on 0 or 1. So if you click on 1, then you're going to get a voice of a lady. And if you click on the voice 0, then you're going to click on Then you will get the voice of a man. So I have defined a function called speak, speak audio, engine of state audio, audio, and print dragon spider plus audio. This allows you to... Okay, now this is a very important... This is a very important step, okay? So first of all, just uh, go to the link on the description download rain meter and after downloading rain meter yeah there are also some themes which you need to install by rain meter and after you install on rain meter you should align it by yourself and after it gets aligned then uh, this power ups this power up music is also given on the description just go and fetch it from there and you can you can just go and paste it on the directory of your python so after that thing now let me scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Okay, you can, you can, you can make, you can make all your information, all your personal data right here by typing your name, age, email ID, gender, etc. Okay, now this is very important right here. So once you say that, hi dragon, I'm going to sleep. It records your sleep time then, and it saves into a text file and then it compares with the starting time so just look at here if os.path.exists goodnight.text then start time is equals to integer date time dot date time dot now dot minute so it's gonna check the minute and it's gonna get the sleep time right here so authenticate google let me say you authenticate google is I just created a function called authenticate google for getting the calendar pick calendar okay for getting your for authorizing dragon spider to get your calendar events right here so for this thing you need to uh, as I had told before calendar dot JSON, JSON okay calendar dot JSON as I had already said you then just go and re just copy and paste this code right here and for receiving messages okay for receiving messages what we're gonna do right here is the credential that we just downloaded from the web named gmail.json we had to re rename it as gmail.json so after receiving the message call it's gonna notify you every single moment as you run this program so if I just go uh, 
These are the codes right here from messaging messages. The, for this, also for getting messages, it's a kind of it's kind of vast. So I'll be explaining this on next video. So mail services. These all are the code and get events. Okay, these are the call. These are the calendar API for getting events of a particular day. Okay, so first of all, I just I take the date, the end, the UTC date, end, and UTC. Okay, and after that, I got all the date and get date, get date. So just look at here, right? Okay, text is equal to text dot lower today is equal to daytime about daytime that today. So what it what it allows it to take date from the text which is get all your function which I have in mind below so after I get the date now note note what does note do is note allows you to make a new note right here so now for this Julius and now for sending messages if you have your account if you have made your Tulia account then you will be getting your Tulia account SID and authorization token from which you can find this function and put your account SID and authorization token right here and just name it contacts right here that my sister or whatever you have uh, and okay your Tulia from is equals to your Tulia number from is equals to your Tulia number okay okay let me just define the Tulia number Okay, your Twilio number is right here. This number which Twilio gives you as your trial number, you're gonna use that same, okay? So you just gonna go and paste it right here. Um the Twilio call is the same. So here uh, you'll be inserting your account aside, not mine, okay? In the code below I'll be clearing this field and putting in please insert your account aside and your account account authorization token right here so the find to your reply I just don't think that you need to get this thing right here so let me just go and delete this thing from here and language translator it allow okay for this thing I've imported the Google Translator API and it allows you to translate the text okay so now let me just go and okay another important thing is here Wolfram Alpha okay Let's go and database. If what do I have in text that get audio? Okay. Now client is equal to Wolfram Alpha dot client. Your client. Your client is your your app ID which Wolfram Alpha gives you. Okay. The Wolfram Alpha gives you this account. So it's gonna give you this app ID. Okay. So you're gonna copy it from your application name and just go and paste it right below here okay and after that language translation from select title locate weather information weather place okay so let me just go and explain this weather so in this weather after open weather maps give you that API code then you can just go and paste it right here and you can do it and after that this program starts working it can also it is also able to say the weather right there and get audio okay the get audio is a function defined by me for getting custom user commands and wake audio okay you can also make your python program wake unless and until you're not getting that thing okay so now define read okay now define read for reading this text uh, what you need to do is first of all just go and import and import and what do you say that import by auto GUI for that you need to pip install by auto GUI and to be scope spoken is equal to piperclip dot paste okay piperclip also you need to install that module and hotkey control comma c first of all the text that you've selected it copies to your clipboard and it pastes on this python and it speaks the text so so if you understand this, first of all, it copies the text from this, from the highlighted version of the web, and then it copies to your clipboard, and it goes and pastes to your Python. Then it starts working on other commands. So what's this? Let me just go and check this thing. Okay, it's done. It's fetched. 
Uh, after that, repeat my speech. These are all the commands right here. For taking a screenshot, you can also take images equals to pg dot screenshot. Name Wikipedia was the weather out. Okay, so if you if you if you are basic Python learner, then you, you may not know about these things. But if Wikipedia in text, so up here, right here, just let me show this thing. Now, in this receive message, this is a function defined by me to take message. Okay, so after I started my program, uh, the f for one time it checks if any new messages in my inbox or not then next time again after 10 minutes when I load this program then it again checks my inbox whether I have a new message or not so these are for these and uh, in text okay so you might be wondering what is text so get audio get audio is a function defined by me for getting the microphone input from the user and I have named it as text so these are all uh, variables if 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 variables if variables if variables now there is also another thing uh, if we want to add a custom command like if open terminal then os dot start file you have to you have to import the complete command right here okay so what is the time what is today's date message dragon hey thank you or thank you cool say something who created you in text those all you can modify yourself and some of the programs like delete shut down restart my pc record my voice quit type speak undo redo so okay so here's something right error control comma shift comma j okay save back go to top read translate to introduce yourself translate in convert selected call remind me play locate where is beatbox so for, for the beatbox I'll be providing the links on below but you can also go and download from the web for the beatboxes and just put it on the Python folder and like this and just do this thing and for music okay if I just go and Go to play music. Play music. Okay, so right here you're gonna name your music directory. Okay, you're gonna name your music directory right here. Put the entire command. So let me tell you a thing. What minor mistakes do beginners do? Okay, they only put a slash right here, which is not allowed by Python as to put a slash inside a, inside a, a, inside a variable you need to put another slash like this so so I've put two slashes right here and after that okay this much are my commands now let me just go and launch it to, so to show you the rest of the function okay now for starting this program now I'll be typing Python W so you can also run in the VCS which is a bit laggy but if you're on the background from Python W then it runs smoother than regular okay now D okay now it starts let's wait for a while until the you want the pops up okay these are the features and I'll also be probably showing you the features that which were not in my last video so let it run right now so let me just open this thing now. Let me just close these all tabs. Control N. Let me just close all these tabs. Right now, okay, so it's running. Let's wait until the program runs completely. Okay, so. the time the program runs so let's wait for some time it's debugging the entire code right here so let me tell you about a very important thing about Rainmeter okay for, so for installing the themes 
from rain meter now what we're gonna do right here is go to downloads and that after you've installed rain meter from from the setup given below now you're gonna keep this jpeg file as your background as your wallpaper for your desktop and after that you have to click on this rain meter skill installer files given by me under the description and just click on that for installing and after it gets installed it's gonna load all the screens onto your PC right there, back up and replace. I, I've already installed that. And you can just align your rainmeter skins by dragging it, okay? So after that after you've done that things, then you can start with the next with the rest I mean. So to check myself that whether the Python of the program is running or not, I need to open my task manager. And after I open my task manager, um, just go to details, details, uh, and the details right here. Now let me just open this thing completely. So let's wait. Code.exe bandcam Python W. So it's running, okay? So let's wait until the program gets debug completely. Starting engine. So it's starting. Collecting required resources. Initializing. Let's wait. Getting information from the CPU. Contacting with mail services. Good afternoon. The current temperature on Kathmandu is 26.0 degrees Celsius. So as you the see that temperature for all the rain meter screens have just appeared right now. Kathmandu is 26.0 degrees Celsius. The estimated minimum temperature for today, Saturday, 30 May 2020, on Kathmandu is 26.0 degrees Celsius. The air is 50% humid today. I am Dragon Spider, sir. Now it is 3:45 p.m. Not. You slept for 31 hours. That's a bug, by the way. <laughs> okay, now. You have six events on this day. I know that. You have O.Maps class at 9. So you have these Nicole events are extracted from the Google Calendar, okay? You have C.Maps okay? class at 11. You have Computer class at 12. You have English class at 13.15. Now after this, you have homework time it at checks 15. my inbox right now, right here, okay? So... Now it's gonna you check have one new messages. Okay. Do you want me to show them? Yes. Now it opens the, a new window of my Gmail. Let's wait till that time. Now, I am ready for your commands. Please tell me how may I help you. Okay, let's wait. What's the message? My inbox. Now it can also read my inbox. So. New message just received from Ashik Bandari. Classroom. No reply plus 404FBB27 at classroom.google.com. Do you want me to read them? Yes. So he's given me a new assignment right here. Okay. So I'm reading that thing right now. Right here. So I've already read this, so it's not reading right now. Okay. Now, actually, if you say that, yes, then it actually it reads your message you newly received a message from your inbox now if I say dragon to hi dragon hi Aryan Ashik Bandari posted a new assignment so it's reading right now okay hi dragon yes Aryan send a message to who? Dad. Say me the content. Hey Dad, are you fine? So let's wait until it says that message successfully. Email has been sent. Wait. Sent. Now let me just go and check right here. Send mail. Send. Hello, Aryan. Open my sent mail. So 
so you see here that hey dear are you fine I just said this from my dragon spider so he just sent this thing right here okay now so it's good now hi dragon Hi Dragon. Waiting for your command, sir. Close this window. Okay, so let's close this file. So now that's much for today. So I hope that you like the I hope that you like the tutorial. So just don't forget to subscribe, please help me grow and like the video. And for any queries you can comment me down or you can also DM me. So, bye for now guys.